Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. HNPCC and we are looking at the Amsterdam criteria. Two, that is a revised criteria. So this diagnostic criteria of the HNPCC, it is referred to as the Amsterdam criteria. And there is another name as well. So it is Amsterdam criteria or it is known as a 3 to 1. So there is a 3 to 1 rule. So what does it include? It includes the 3 or more relatives. So greater than 3. 3 or more relatives. And this is with the HNPCC. So greater than or equal to 3 relatives. And with the HNPCC. This is the HNPCC associated with the cancer. So this has the colorectal cancer. So CR cancer, the colorectal cancer. Next is the endometrial cancer. Then comes the cancer. This is of the bowel, the small bowel and also the ureter. and the renal pelvis so HNPCC associated cancer it includes the colorectal cancer so let's repeat this so we saw the Amsterdam criteria it is also known as a 3210 there is also a 0 here so 3210 rule so here the findings we saw was it is greater than 3 ureters with the HNPC associated cancer that is a colorectal cancer next the endometrial cancer then the cancer of the small bowel there is also the ureter and the renal pelvis so the one of whom is the first degree relative or the of the other two so here what we are telling is one of them is the first degree relative first degree relative and after the first degree relative and the other two so first degree relative of the other two so here at least two successive generations are affected the two successive generations are affected and at least one case is diagnosed before the age of 50. So at least one case is diagnosed and this is diagnosed before the age of 50, before 50 years. So then there is also the familial adenomatosis polyposis, the familial adenomatous polyposis so this is excluded and there are tumors verified by pathological examination there are tumors which are verified by the pathological examination so all the above should be applicable for the presumptive diagnosis so all the above should be applicable to the presumptive diagnosis of HNPCC to be made in a family. So let's uh, review the points. So we saw two successive generations to be affected and at least one case of the one case before, is diagnosed before the age of 50 years and there is a familial adenomatosis polyposis this has to be excluded as well as there is tumor there is tumor which is verified by the pathological examination and there is so all the above should be applicable for the HNPCC diagnosis to be made in a family to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe